Hi, sweet family. Welcome to Sweet Annie's Life. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for stopping back. Welcome back. Today is Christmas Day. And happy holidays to all of you. And I am going to be making a traditional Christmas drink in Barbados for you. But you know me, I make it with a twist. So today we are going to be looking at sorrel. Sorrel is a drink that we would just we would just use on Christmas Day or say the Christmas season. But before I get into that, my channel deals with faith, hair, skin, um, in the kitchen with Annie, tea talk with Annie, a multitude of things. What I always like to say is that my channel is a melting pot of stuff. So if you like certain things, you can watch those. If you don't like the other things, you don't have to watch them. So, but once again, we are going to be looking at Sorrow, a page so today. I'm not going to be long with you because I have to go cook. It's just my daughter and myself. So I am not going to be making a lot of Sorrow, but I am this is two cups of sorrel that I will be looking at today. But before we start, let me tell you my ingredients and what I am putting in um, my sorrel today. And sometimes I drink this all year round, but it's not really sorrel. It is the hibiscus. I just um, interchange the sorrel for the hibiscus and drink it all year round because I just love the taste and I don't like artificial this drink ginger stuff. ginger root. I have the actual dry ginger root which is very important as well. And my next ingredient is going to be some cloves. So I have some whole cloves here that I'm going to be throwing into my sorrel as well. And this is the twist I was telling you about because I'm going to be doing some rosemary as well. I love the taste of rosemary. So I'm going to be putting some rosemary in my sorrel as well. And this is just some hard spice that I am going to be putting a bunch in it as well. So I have not cinnamon sticks, spice sticks. Or right, cinnamon, cinnamon, spice, same thing. Same thing. Really. These, these are these are I just call all of them cinnamon spice. It's be the same thing. Alright, so this is to um, one tablespoon of the ginger root and I just took this probably I just took a few cloves um, whole cloves to throw in and then this is one tablespoon of the rosemary and I already showed you my sorrel and then this is just going to be my sugar. I have two cups, but I'm not sure how much I will be ended up using. And this is some brown sugar that I will be using because it has um, a better flavor. And as I tell y'all, I don't use that much white sugar. All right. So what I want you to do is to follow me to the kitchen because I have my water behind here. These are just my fruits that I mixed up. I have my water behind here. So I'm going to be putting 
my water in the pot let's see how much these and this is just for my daughter and myself to drink today and for the rest of the week or so it doesn't last that long though but but i wanted to hop on just to show y'all how i make my sorrow um there are a lot of people that would do it differently because everybody have their own style but I really want to share this with you along with some other recipes so I have this is eight cups of water I have All right so I am pouring my water in the pot now and as I said this is eight cups of water then I have my spice I have my ginger I have my cloves and I have my rosemary and as I say, I love rosemary because I love the taste that it gives the juices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just let these things uh, boil up and come to a boil and then I'll be right back. Yeah, the reason I like to put ginger in my sorrel too is because ginger is good for the digestion. It's good for your overall stomach and everything if you got cramps if you got it a lot of ailments that is going on with your stomach so I like to put the ginger for that reason cloves cloves is just overall good for you and they might not taste too good when you put it in certain dishes because they overpower the taste but when you put it in the sorrel it definitely gives it a unique 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 taste and cloves i will put a few lists of what clothes clothes are good for because it's anti-inflammatory and so much more rosemary we all know how good rosemary is for you for your hair for your skin for your overall being so I love and I love the taste of rosemary in my juices um, when I'm making my lemon balm tea I put rosemary when I'm making everything I put rosemary rosemary is just overall goodness and that is anti-inflammatory and everything as well um, the sort the spice spice that is in a category by itself the sorrel the sorrel no i always used to think that the sorrel is a family to the hibiscus and in doing the research we realized that the sorrel is like the the bud of the hibiscus before it actually but it's just like a family of the hibiscus so that's why i love to drink hibiscus all year round and those are just a few of the benefits of why i love to drink sorrel or hibiscus so let's once again return back to the stove and see how our things are coming along all right we can see how everything has changed its color and i could tell that it has a lot of goodness in here if you smell the ginger you smell the clove you know everything combining in one you smell the cinnamon or spice sticks or whatever you choose to call it everything is just smelling 
awesome in this kitchen. So now we are going to add the sorrel, but we are not going to let the sorrel boil up too much. We're going to let the sorrel boil for a little bit, and then we are going to leave it to steep. And after it has steeped, we will sweeten it and everything else. We'll strain it, sweeten it, and everything else. All right, it has steeped for a little bit, but I, anybody that knows me, know that I will boil this again. So this is nice and red and pretty and it smells great so what we are going to do is that we are going to come over the other side and start to strain this off so we are back and my sorrel drink is finished as you can see is not that strong because i don't like my sorrel too strong I just like it strong enough so it is not that like it's not a deep red but it is a nice red color I add a little bit more water to it as well to dilute it but it looks great so what I will do now is I will start to add my sugar to sweeten it um, and I I'm not going to use because for those of you that know me no I don't like a lot of sugar but by the time you put some ice to this and and everything it would be great all by itself and I am going to put up the rest of the sorrel I'm going to put up the rest of the sorrel to um, be able to boil again because or to steep again i should say but what i'm going to do i'm going to just take all right so i found my little cups and i have my soup soup spoon so i am going to put some of this lovely sorrel in the cup it's still a little warm i'm going to give some to my daughter to taste and I am going to taste some as well. Let's taste this. Cheers. To me, it wants more sugar. So, I am going to put some more. I'm going to put some more sugar. This was two cups of sugar I had in here, but I, my grand always used to say you could put in, but you can't take out. So, so I'm going to use both of the cups of sugar. Yeah. And it is a little bit more acid then I like it I don't like as I said I don't like my sorrel too strong so that's why I had to put in a little bit more sugar because it's a little little acid isn't it no that is way better and I could taste the ginger. Not only the ginger, but the clove and everything. But what I am going to do now is I have a cup here. Can I it? Hmm? You want some more? It tastes better now. If you want, if you want more sugar in it, I can put more sugar in it for you. As I said, family, this is for us to drink. This is because um, we normally is better. I want more sugar. Is it now? 
It tastes good now. My, yeah, just wanted a little bit more sugar. So I put in the two cups of sugar. And so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just pour this in my, um, scoop this in my container. I can see like some rosemary got away in here but I am going to scoop this in my container. Now this is the sorrel all done ready to drink. I just put a couple of blocks of ice with it and this is going in the fridge to cool and my daughter and myself would have sorrel today with our lunch. So what I wanted to cook was some macaroni pie, her favorite. She wants me to show you how I make my macaroni pie. And I'm going to be baking some beef. I'm probably doing plantain and salad or something. But we'll see because I came home from work this morning. So we'll see. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, just like, share, and subscribe. And try it, try it, try this all. Try this on your own because you would enjoy it. It is a um, traditional Bajan drink, as I said, for Christmas morning. This is Christmas morning, so we are drinking it today. And it is very good now. Thanks again for joining me. And as I say, spread the love.